Hello everyone, welcome to the best Airbnb in Kampala, Uganda. This place is called Asante Courts, located in Namugongo, one of the outskirts of Kampala city and one of the safest neighborhoods we have. Now, to be specific, the place is located or found in an area called Buto and it is packed with all amenities for comfortable living. I'm sure most of you are already in love with the property and me, one thing that has stood out for me is the interior designing. It is top notch, just like my brother the Ugandan Dream always says on his YouTube channel and the standard is beyond that of Uganda to be honest. So let's have a detailed tour of the property. If it is your first time on the channel and you've not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe and enable the bell button so you never miss a video from me. So this property goes for 150,000 Ugandan shillings every day. It is open to content creators in case you need a place where you can record professional looking videos in a nice environment, this place is available for you. Now for those who are looking at celebrating parties in a nice environment, in a good place, it is also open to those interested and for comfortable stays as well. Now, if you have a family and you're traveling to Uganda, this is a family friendly place because each level comes with two bedrooms, the master bedroom and the other bedroom, which comes with two beds. The place comes with an ample parking space and it accommodates around five cars. But if you have small cars, it can accommodate about eight to nine vehicles. The Toyota VTs, the Sientas, eight of them or nine can park here. So it's a friendly place in case you're hosting a party in this area. When it comes to security, we have a security guards room over this side. And also we have an alarm system on standby up here. And around the entire property, we have electric wires which help you on security as well and also we have standby cctv cameras monitoring the place 24 7. now down on this space we have a standby well in case water goes off the national water we have a standby well here it has a water pump which pumps fresh water for you and it supplies the entire property now when it comes to the face of the property you can see we have transparent glasses every level of this property has this and it helps on increasing natural light in the property and also fresh air because this is a window on this side and also a window on this side Now, when you come inside the property, you will be welcomed by this dining space. It accommodates six people, as you can see. But hey, whoever did the interior designing of this property is really top notch. <laughs> we have artistic designs here from the Kitengis, the African print clothes, and also the bottle tops, the waste of uh, sodas. On this other side, we have a very beautiful art piece representing the African life, the African culture. We see the African prints and also these ladies, this one was coming from fetching firewood. A lot of stuff going on in this one picture. So up here, we have a floating light or a chandelier. And I love the fact that it's warm it creates a beautiful atmosphere around the property. Now, behind me, you can see that is the kitchen. I love the concept. It's an open plan house. The kitchen over that side, the sitting, the dining area, and the living room over here. So let us start with the living room. This is how the living room looks like. It has got a lot of 
spaces to accommodate any number of guests you'll have so it comes with comfortable chairs very very comfortable guys and in the center we have a center table it also comes with storage areas down here a lot of storage and a center carpet a nice looking high quality center carpet remember the translucent glasses i did show you earlier now this is where you see how beautiful it is because it brings in enough illumination into the property and you as well able to see what is happening outside at the same time it acts as a sitting area it can accommodate like three or four people and down here it comes with storage as well right now let me take you to the kitchen and here as you're going in the kitchen we have a countertop and up here we have uh, floating lights as well very nice because they give you that warm atmosphere we have floating shelves on top here for storage and here we have a cooker now this cooker runs on both electricity and also on gas beautiful kato we have a microwave storage here more storage up here we have a water sink it gives you cold water and hot water So this countertop has got storage areas down here. We have uh, utensils, the saucepans. Yeah, we have foils in here. Yeah, and more extra storage. Let me call this a bar area because on this section you can see we have some wines, <laughs> expensive wines. So this is where you store your glasses and up here it can accommodate more liquor more wine and down here oh before you go down there we have storage here on the bar section as well so this is storage now this area is meant for wine you can place other drinks here as well on this side and then this other side is for storage as well so when we go down here we have another table now this can act as a uh, coffee table it can act as well as a centerpiece in the living room but here where it is placed it as well adds beauty to the property as we go up here we have a beautiful beautiful mirror now I love the design this is wood plus a mirror and then wood on top Now, as we are getting into the bedroom, we have storage on this side as well. And then in this space here, we have an art piece here. Now, this art piece shows you how hardworking Ugandan men are, especially the fishermen. They were pushing a boat into the sea, the, sorry, the lake. We don't have a sea here. And the tides were a bit rough, but they were pushing it into the lake, probably going for fishing. Now, Right here behind me is the shared bathroom. For people who are going to stay in this room, they can share this bathroom. But this is the master bedroom. So let's check out the bathroom, how it looks like. I love the fact that it is looking very, very nice and it is as well partitioned. Let's check it out. So over here, this is our first bedroom. 
this bedroom as you can see it comes with two beds and on the headboards above the headboards of the beds we have this beautiful two art pieces this guy with a beard like mine and then a beautiful african lady with a huge window to bring in enough natural light and also fresh air and over this side we have our wardrobe now this is huge here in the middle you can as well do your work here in case you need to do some video editing you need to do some corporate work this is your working space now i think the atmosphere you can see is changing the atmosphere of the monster bedroom comes with this bed with two side tables and also two side lamps as you can see it now this band door separates the walk-in closet by the way this side comes with a walk-in closet so the band door helps you to separate the walk-in closet from the bathroom So right now we are going on the next level remember i told you it's a three level property we are going to be checking out the next level of the property and we can access the stairs on this other side now the beautiful thing about these doors you can open them with a key with a cord and also with this cord with this card you just put it on the door and the door will open let me illustrate that for you so this is the card here what you do you just place it on the door like this and then it will tell you the lock is open if it fails because it runs on battery you can use a key but remember you can also you can as well use a cord to access the property now the beautiful thing about this airbnb each level has its own theme the next level is gold and i can't wait to take you there let's go welcome to the golden level now this one gives you rich wealthy vibes because it was given a golden theme we have some touches of gold in different parts of this space now we are going to be starting on this side of the dining area now this dining area is purely wood as you can see i love the fact that it is minimal but it looks elegant and classy and also it gives you valentine love themes as you can see the colors red white black and then the gold i was talking about in this space so it sets that love mood for you guys eh? and then up here we have a floating light now this one also gives you the golden theme that warmth in this space especially at night it really makes that moment magical when you're here with your special summer now over this side we have a beautiful art piece handcrafted by ugandans from banana fibers you all know that uganda is a land of banana the land of matoke and here in uganda we don't waste anything that comes from the matoke plantation now these are the stems they are dried and then they make this beautiful art from them they also make mats yeah, so for me, I really find this interesting and very, very beautiful, guys. Tell me what you think about this beautiful art piece celebrating our African Buganda heritage. 
adjacent to the dining space we have a balcony over here now this balcony gives you a view of the neighborhood outside and also the compound down here it is quite spacious and hey this space brings in enough fresh air to the property and also enough light in the property so behind me i think you can see we have a beautiful kitchen open concept i love the concept of these units here but before you go check out the kitchen i want us to pay more attention to first explore this space the living room now i love the fact that the furniture in the living room is not so much exaggerated it is simple minimal but classy down here we have a beautiful art piece sitting on top of this artistic stool crafted from a wooden trunk so as we push more into the living room we have our furniture simple but classy i love this and hey guys have i told you that they are really comfortable man super super comfy The interior designing is not too much, it is minimal but classy and also it includes a lot of art pieces and these art pieces have a message. When you look at this art piece, it has a message. Right here we have a huge window, now that window still brings in enough light uh, and fresh air. We have a lot of spaces bringing in enough light bringing in a lot of fresh air that one this one over here and also the door next to the dining area and this one which brings you to the property so up here we have a fan <laughs> now guys this is incredible this is a fan at the same time it is a light now this fan is very very silent let me pause a little bit and you hear whether it will make any noise like the traditional fans No noise at all and the air it blows it feels like it is coming from an AC man this is incredible guys I'm in love I told you earlier as we were starting this video that this property is beyond the standards of Uganda. You can go to Nakasero where electronics are sold in Uganda in Kampala and it will be very hard for you to find such such a light. It's a fun same time a lamp. You, it will be very difficult for you to find it. Right now, we are in the hallway and now this one takes us to the bedrooms and also the shared bathroom. So right now, let me take you inside the bathroom. Check it out.
This bedroom is kid friendly. You can see this is a kid's bed, but also adults can use it. Now, on this side, we have our wardrobe. Now, this wardrobe is huge and it comes with a lot of storage areas. Welcome to the master bedroom. Now, we have a sliding door here and it is very, very smooth. Wow, it feels nice. It doesn't make any funny noise. So this one closes the bathroom and as it opens, it brings you to the walk-in closet. Welcome to the upper level of this beautiful Airbnb. Come on right in. Basically the concept is the same. What is different is the designing, the interior designing, the different colors, the different styles of furniture put inside here. So on this side we have our living area. This is our beautiful kitchen. It has got all the appliances you need for comfortable living. And this is the fridge. This is our first bedroom. Now, this one is kids friendly. You can see it has a double decker bed, and these are the stairs which give you access to the top one. And this is a five by six bed. On the bottom, this one is a four by six. So it can accommodate a good number of people. It is very, very huge. And also we have some nice art, which is kid friendly. I'm sure if you come with kids here, they will love this space here and then on this other side we have a huge wardrobe giving you plenty of storage and also a working space over this side. Mm -hmm. 